In this short video, I'm going to show you how to make your own flock. What you have in front of you here is some sample of some dark green, and that's the one that I'm running out of. We have some PVA, we have some water, we have a mixing jar, and we have a tray. Over here, I have some sawdust. Now this is sawdust that have just come out of my workshop uh, and I've pushed through a sieve, so it's very, very fine, which is what I want. And all you do, and it is very simple to do this, is you take your paint and you put it into your mixing pot, however much you want. That's how much I'm doing. It's not very scientific, this. You take your PVA and you put about the same quantity in. Well, this has a child-proof lock, which is also adult-proof. There we are, managed it. So a bit, about the same amount of PVA in as you've done of paint. There we are. Then you get some water, and you just put a bit of water in. About the same again. Then you get something to mix with, which I don't have to hand. So. Something to mix with and mix it all up. There we are. And if you're not happy with the color of the paint, add some more paint, but that looks good to me. And then, this is where you get your hands dirty. What you do is, just put that here out of the way. You take your sand, your sawdust, and you drop it in and you start mixing it. And you keep adding sawdust until it's completely dry. Now you should probably, I should probably have put gloves on because I'm gonna get absolutely filthy here. But sometimes half of the fun of doing this hobby is being able to get filthy and having a good excuse. That was a bit of a mess. No problem, no harm, no foul. And as you can see, it's already starting to get quite stiff. Then you just knead it up as hard as you can. Make sure that the paint gets spread around all of the sawdust. You can see how quick and easy it is to do that. Let me bring that up. Look at that, isn't that looking great already? I use this bigger pot. I used to use smaller ones. I use this bigger one because it means I can get in with my hands. Trying to do this with a stirring stick, I ended up breaking sticks because you actually have to put quite a lot of force into it. There we are. You want to make sure that there's no sawdust without paint on it. I actually could put a bit more sawdust in that. You can put a lot more sawdust in than you think. Well, that's a top tip. There's, the paint goes a long way. More, more, more. I'm gonna have to sift some more sawdust even. More. Look at the state of my hands. It's water-based paint, it will dry, it'll wash off. And there we are. That is starting to now get really dry and not have very much moisture coming off of it. So when you get to that stage, I'll probably need to have more than one of these 
greaseproof trays, non-stick trays, but you spread it out nice and thin, like so. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get another one, so I'll do that after I've finished filming. Spread it out nice and thin, and what I'm about to do for this one is actually put it next to my fire. I, we have wood-burning fires to keep us warm here, and that will be what how I'll dry it. But you can put it in the sun or in an airing cupboard or whatever, and it dries out nicely. You might need to go in every now and then and smoosh it about just to get it to dry completely and evenly. But it's as simple as that to make your own flock. And that is how I've made all the flock that I use on all of my builds. So thank you very much for watching. If you're not yet a subscriber, please do subscribe. I'll come down so you can see me. If you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe. I do love to see that there are people interested in these crazy videos I make. And uh, don't forget to ding the bell so that you're informed whenever one of these goes live. Um, and last but not least, as always, thank you very much for watching Beard Clipper.